John Lindell ended up apologizing to the church during a sermon that everyone can look up if they feel like it. But I have a quote from John apologizing for having Mark at the conference and apologizing for having Alex, the uh, sword swallower. At this, every time I say sword swallower, man. Why? Why apologize for that having what you had as your opening? Maybe we'll get a little context. At the same time, I want to be clear. I want to apologize and let you know I take full responsibility for the decision that was made to invite Mark Driscoll and Alex Magala to the Stronger Men's Conference. I am deeply saddened by the division that our invitation has brought to the body of Christ. That was never our intent. The Stronger Men's Conference is about reaching men for Jesus Christ, and it will continue to be about reaching men for Jesus Christ. And ever since then, he's also said that I didn't receive any texts, any messages, anything from anybody that was at the conference that was negative or anything. Yeah, I don't know. I, and, I'll, and, I'll, I but he's apologizing you. for having the sword swallower. Because it became a spectacle. Like I, I think there Then could... why apologize for something that you stood behind and someone called you out for? Because he... It was just because it was public? Because there's a swath of destruction that's being created, including Mark undercutting his... Like, if then why wouldn't John just own it and take and and create neut- a neutral vibe? Why does he have to push back on Driscoll? Like, Be- because, okay, so if it's true, let's try to... Is, if, it, is it his ego and Jeff, he's embarrassed? Okay. What? You're dialed up and you're interrupting me like four times in a row as I'm in mid-sentence, and that's okay. But I want to ask a question. Like, it is if it's true, the quote that Dave read about Mark contacting the son to try to get them out, <coughs> interfering in their specific church, is that okay? I don't know. I think that's... You think it might be okay to undercut the dad and go behind his back to his son? I don't know if it's like you, you guys are... Your family... You, supposedly you're going to be taking over and you're responsible for all of these people. You need to get this person out of here because they're, they've brought something to the church that is not good. And if you want something that's viable, that's holy, please get in there now. Forget that it's his father. Get in there now and clear the path and have a fresh start and, and go or else James river is going to fall apart that I, sounds dramatic i think that's where driscoll's coming from i mean it just sounds dramatic so where where's the line where do you draw that line so How, you obviously don't think that he should have done it you think it's like undermining their church evil is happening but let's let it go how about this and he's even has, apologized has for the it. has the extent of the way that this went down been unifying or divisive the person on stage has completely the, divisive. Has the event the event that happened has it been unifying or or divisive? This whole this whole event include all the things, the extra interactions. Is this is this divisive or unifying? Unifying to who? Un, un- anybody. I, I don't know. Pick pick somebody. The de- the, the okay. hold, hold on, hold okay. on. Don't don't change this topic because okay, I'm gonna stay on the same James five James five twenty. Whoever turns a sinner from their error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. The point being is if they continue down this path, if they continue to like we become lazy, if that's the case, and we don't vet, and we just allow s- this stuff to happen and creep into people's minds and lives then you've created the divisiveness yourself. It's not that Mark Driscoll came in. Why are we blaming the person who's calling it out? Why does that happen in this society? No, Here's exactly why. It's not what he did, it's how he did it. And that's the point. That's why Matthew gets brought up. Is It is because the way he did it is the most divisive way, and it has sprung off this firestorm of additional divisiveness john lindell by the way read those text messages in his church from mark driscoll which is dumb now we yeah, ha- divisive or not Com- yeah I, I completely I that's what i'm saying you spark divisiveness <laughs> so did no one is lindell no one is own it per- at the beginning he would not own it. Because he apologized of, it for later but he won't own it stop. at the beginning because of the way that it was handled 
So when you put someone on the defensive automatically in public and pull their pants down, they're going to fight back automatically. That's what happens. It's a normal reaction. It's a different- Instead of saying, hold on, we have a relationship. I respect you. I had a problem with what happened up there. I don't need to air this out in front of everybody else first. Let's have a discussion man to man. One could make the argument that it's a bitch move for Mark Driscoll to go out and do that in front and say, dude, how more disrespectful could you be? And then, and then it seems like he's talking out both sides of his mouth. Mark how, Drisco- more, how more disrespectful could you be to put a man on stage, have him take his shirt off, swallow through? Jeff, I, no, I'm not getting past it. it. I don't, I, I, no one, I'm hung uh, no up No one's on arguing it? against that. No, they're not. No one's arguing right. that that was inappropriate. No one Sorry, is arguing that I'm more, side. I'm more a Mark Driscoll than a John Lindell who hides and is, then apologizes later. I, I think both of them. Well, Mark did that too. He went and hid, and then came back and apologized. Yeah, he was later trying too. to protect his. He was trying to protect his friend John Lindell's conference. Do we need to take well, sides? It didn't, it didn't sound like he was trying to protect his conference if he got up there first and made that statement. He was no, but after the fact, in the moment, so he's talking out of both the, sides of his mouth during the conference. He's he's he said, "I did this the wrong way." He's going let like I know this was the opening of your conference, and then I was the second day, and I was going to speak, and you kicked me off stage. Let me come back out so you guys can finish your your conference. I don't want to ruin that, but now I'm going to continue to rail against what has happened here. So, did, was Mark being was he being untruthful when he said I shouldn't have said it that way? I should have come and talked to you first. Was Mark Driscoll lying? He he's trying to soften the blow. Was he lying? When he said what? When he said, I'm the- sorry. When they had the two of them on stage, he came back and said, I shouldn't have done it that way. I should have come to you first and talked to you about this. As the spiritual authority in the house, I recognize that spiritual authority and I'm under it. I should have come to you. Which I, I have problems with that. Whatever, whatever. Whatever. I have a problem Regardless, with that as well. Who cares? He's not the spiritual authority. Was he lying? Was Mark well, Driscoll he's the pastor of that church? Mark, Mark. It seemed like it was. They were so lying? close to making it work. Either Mark is lying in in that scenario, and he shouldn't have done it, or I should or, have. Sorry. I should have come to you as a friend and maybe like, hey, like. But biblically, I'm calling you out. This I'm calling this whole thing out publicly, so people who are the thousands of people that are here, they're not looking at this at like, yeah, because. But what? So did Mark Driscoll lie to him on stage again later, when he when Mark Driscoll said I did it the wrong way? It depends on what context. If you're talking about the conference, we or saw the context. About John. He came up on the con- in the conference the next day and apologized in front of all of the stadium of men and said I did it the wrong way. I should have come and talked to you. Is Mark Driscoll lying when maybe, he says that? Maybe he did. All right. So does that invalidate? <laughs> like at one point now, do we go okay? That if we t- sin if, once, are we just sinners? Well, that's what you're saying with John Lindell, who messed up by putting by having a lapse of judgment but he and was letting res- someone on. But he stage. was responsible for thousands of men seeing this. And how many millions have seen Mark Driscoll? In what? In this and a lot of other things. Yeah, but we're just talking about this moment. So I'm saying, <coughs> go back to my first question. I'll answer it. Final lap. This is the Final mo- lap. This is the most divisive thing that could have happened possibly here. Mark Driscoll is responsible for the divisiveness. John Lindell is responsible for the divisiveness. I don't agree. They both own this, and and neither of them are helping the situation, and it makes Christians look like shit in a very public stage for lots of different reasons Boo-hoo. now. Boo-hoo. Christians look, like, look bad. Boo-hoo. The divisiveness happened when the devil wait, was put on stage, taking their shirt off, swallowing a sword what at a men's you, conference. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Boom, hold, hold Christians on. look bad. The divisiveness, divisiveness happened when what? Did you say the devil? The divisiveness happened when you put a man on stage at a men's Is conference. Is that what you said the first time? Did, you say, did I mishear you? Did you say the devil? When the devil was on the stage? Your, it's like a devilish spirit. Is that what you said, though? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. So um, is what? But the problem here is that you have one problem <laughs> compounding. Yes, 
There's an issue there. Like we said, no one here thinks that was a great idea. You're driving him to the drink. <laughs> okay. No one no one says it's a great idea. It's followed by another poor choice, followed by another poor choice, followed by another poor choice. And yes, actually, I do think it matters <laughs> what people's perceptions are of Christians because that is how they may or may not hold, hold have, on, a Jeff. Hold on, have a chance to engage with who Jesus actually is. So if we project something and broadcast it that... Christians are a bunch of divisive assholes who do stupid things and make poor choices. Completely. We completely do that. So why why is that okay? Why should we not care about that? We we do care. You just said you didn't care. N- no, I said we do do that. Dave, rewind the tape. <laughs> Dave, pass me the talking pillow, bro. It's not that we don't care. It's, it's not you that You said we, you didn't care. You said no, so what? It's not that we don't care. It's that we do care, and these things happen all the time. It's the fact of like being present and calling it out. Yes, if yeah, it was just an individual, this is not an individual thing. This was a massive public thing to talk to John. Would John's going to go out there and be like, uh, maybe? I don't. You think, don't know. I don't. I don't. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he would said, "You know what? I don't think Mark knew. I think what? from thirty minute conversation that they had before he let's, went out there, they're like, I let's don't know. imagine the best. Scenario. We don't know. Let's imagine the best scenario. We don't know. The best scenario is." <laughs> Mark John goes, goes, John Mark goes, goes and talk to him, John, and John says, you know what? You're right. Hold on. Let's go up together. Hey, we had a really good conversation about this. This didn't turn out the way that any of us were thinking. I wasn't paying attention. We don't feel good about this, by the way. That's a great response to it, and they both share that on the stage, but there was no chance for that to happen, and now you have bad decision by bad decision, and Christians shit-talking each other on, on broadcast all over the world. There's a million YouTube reaction videos. We are now one of them. <laughs> do you do you okay. think um, do you think that uh, if if Mark Driscoll sees a man eating a banana, does he have to like avert his eyes? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Um, also, do we have to take sides? Like to me, it's like can't everyone be full of shit in this scenario? Can't there be like mistakes on all sides? I feel like there's a little bit of like. That's my point. Um, it's okay. all going south. Because I actually okay. agree. I, I agree it. with the pushback from from Mark Driscoll. I just want it to be like, okay, this maybe the sword swallowing moment is <laughs> is the straw that broke the camel's back of like, we don't need this spectacle. We can let the message of like redemption and forgiveness and like realizing that's true about your life and now how you can live more freely and experience the things that God wants you to experience. Like that's apparently not good enough because make it. This is like consumer Christianity dialed up to eleven, where it's like we gotta have the experience, and it probably got ahead of their skis. Like I, I guarantee you, John. Well, he obviously re- regrets it, but it's like maybe like I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. They didn't vet it; it was a mistake. And right and now, we don't even know that. No, we don't know that. But we got Mark doing the thing he did. They seem to make up. And then apparently, allegedly, Mark is undercutting his authority at the church, and then he's reading text messages from Mark on church. It's it looks it's a shitstorm. It, now it's catty. It looks stup- it's yes. catty. It's everyone looks bad in this now. Everybody looks bad. And I'm fibbing when I'm like, yeah, Mark's. I don't know if he's lying. He's 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 bsing on the moment to try and protect John's conference. He's he's doing that, but he's doing that like a little public relations, like. Ee. Yeah, this is this is heavy, but you had this happen, so let me try and protect this so you can keep on with your conference because it was at the beginning of the conference. I, I feel like Mark's like a moth to the flame. He goes, he's like, "This is what I should do. I should come back the next day and we'll apologize and do that." And he goes home and he's in his like <laughs> hotel room. That I was like that night, he's sitting there, he's going like, "His rage, his rage I can't monster." Do it. I can't. <laughs> rage monster, rage texting all over the place. You gotta leave. You gotta okay. undercut it. Okay.